Dream Drive, Thompson Jackal here, and today I've got a pretty fun video. Um, I'm actually going to be turning a stick that I found, a pretty old dead stick that I just found out in, in our yard, and I'm going to be turning it into hopefully a pretty good working crankbait. I mean, sorry, pretty good working top water bait. So, so right here, this here is what it is. Literally, this is how I found it. So, um, I'm gonna take this um, saw and hand saw, and I'm going to do, I'm just gonna cut right here. That way it's even, so I'm gonna go like this. This is not very, this is definitely not dangerous at all. Definitely not, so I still would not, I would definitely not recommend doing this like this. We were gonna do it in the barn, um, but I decided not to do it in the barn. Bad lighting in there. Yeah, bad lighting. And because it's hot. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to start whittling this away. A few moments later. That's a close one. Yeah. Alrighty, so... I've got this, like that, as you can see. Thanks hold to, it. It wasn't in focus. Thanks to my hand Hold saw. it, hold it, hold it. Should not in focus. Come on, camera. This you is like a, zoom this out. is like a thousand. There we go. It's a thousand dollar phone. Like, come on, get in focus. Anyways. Closing He's it. Moving yes, it okay, down. so, anyways, I cut this off. I'm, now, all I gotta do I think I may just leave this tail how it is just because, well, gives probably, it character. Yeah, it gives it character. Ties it darn yeah. right. Absolute character. I think I'll fish it like this. And then I'm also going to spray paint this just for fun. I can still catch a fish off of this color. But now we're going. Oh, wow. Just thought of this. So I was going to drill in here. But I'm probably oh crap that was huge mosquito. Anyways, I'm gonna probably gonna still try that, but I don't know how well it's gonna work with this dead wood. So that's gonna be interesting. So if it starts cracking, then I'm gonna have to do um I'm gonna have to wire it and kind of do something like Ken Gray did. This is this video is inspired by Ken Gray. He did the exact same thing. So yeah. This time, I'm just going to try to make it better. pretty nervous that it's gonna break but I'm gonna make my marker for the middle that looks about good here Okay, 
actually went really well. I was pretty nervous that it would, um, I was pretty nervous that the wood would break, but thankfully it did not, and we got a good, nice hole right there. Um, now I am going, so I'm probably having the bait sit like that. Yeah, I want it to sit like this. And now I'm going to drill a few more holes. Okay, now going to drill again. Just hoping that it don't crack this time. go very far into the bait just okay I went through it that's gonna be that'll be okay and I'll just do it one more time okay so I went through them both that's really gonna be okay I'm not too worried about that um So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Oh, alrighty. So now that I got this, I am going to work on the line tack. So just get me a straight piece of lead wire. You don't want stainless steel wire because you won't be able to work with it. But I bend it like that. Right now I have it on my clamp with a um oh just a piece of steel. A little tiny piece of steel. And it'll hold up this and I'll just put put it here in in here like this. So it's like that and then I'll just run the drill. Us off, and I've got that right there. And then I'm going to stick that into here. And that actually looks really good. Happy with that. I'm really happy with that, actually. Um, yeah. Now I've got to do some more. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys whenever I get the last two done. Okay, this is what, oh crap. I don't have the hooks glued in. I don't have anything glued in right now, but. Oh my goodness. Let me show you what this looks like. It's pretty sinking cool looking um i did go a little bit overkill on the hooks but it was either go with too big of hooks or really small hooks and i thought it'd look cooler if i went big so um yeah this here kind of looks like a wrap type deal um i'm gonna paint it and um but first i gotta glue it so let's do that other than that, I think it's looking really cool. And the cool thing about these is that your hooks are the weight, so it should stand up straight, because this here is going to be the heaviest part. And so I'm really excited for this. Ho I'm just hoping that this is not too dense of a wood that it'll sink, which I'm really thinking it's going to float. All right, so it is time to add the glue. So with this one here, with the line tie, I'm going to... And um, just to show you guys, the only reason that I'm doing this without a swivel is because I don't have any. So, um, yeah, if I had some, then I'd definitely go that way. But I'm just going to dip this in super glue. Cool. 
Oh yeah. That's good. Nice and good dip. Now I should put that right in the bait. Let it drip a little bit in there. Right, right in the hole. Then kind of just sink it in there. And then line it. So after I put it in there, then I'm gonna line it how I want it. So yeah, this is looking really good. This is how I want. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna just set them in, and I'll set all of them in, and then I'll get back to you guys whenever I'm ready for whenever this is ready for painting. Alrighty, guys. Um, so uh, the bait, the glue is all dried. I I glued it twice. It's definitely ready to go. I put a lot of tape on the hooks. So um, now, I've, so I, w I did say I was gonna paint it. I'm not gonna paint it. I'm gonna, cause that makes it look more like a bait. I want it to look more like a stick and try to catch fish off of it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I got- Matt, you are gonna put a clear coat on it. I am putting a clear coat on it. It'll give it more of a better look. A more finished, finer look. Um, but it's still gonna have the natural color. Here we go. This is what we want. Again. Oh, they. Oh, wow. Okay. Just surface. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I want to make sure I get all of this, but I'll just dip this bait in there. You know, actually, I'm gonna make my, but anyways, yeah, I'm not gonna paint it because I want it to look actually like a stick and not a bait. So this here is some very old clear coat. Now I'll probably do it three times. I'll dip it, let it dry, dip it, let it dry, dip it, let it dry, and then I'm gonna go fishing with it. But yeah, get it stirred up. So there we go. Now I'm gonna take this, my wire deal thing, and put this on here, just like that. Dip this right in here, push it in there. Oh yeah, hopefully it's not gonna get the hooks. I'm hoping that I did it good enough, but that's what it is right there. So yeah, I'm gonna hang this, let it sit, then I'm gonna do this two more times. I won't do that on film because that's kind of boring, but I'll get back to you guys whenever this I do this two more times and it's dried. Okay, guys. Okay, so this here is what it looks like um, finished uh, with. Uh, so I dipped it in clear coat three times. This here is what it's like. It's pretty good looking. This here, um, now it will be so I can throw it around in water and it'll last me a lot longer a lot a lot longer and it also keeps the hooks more intact um so yeah I got my spinning reel here um I would prefer I got my ducket rod and um and I got my what's this called this is real cold oh yeah my American hero um loose spinning reel I would prefer a baitcaster, but um, I don't have that right now. All I've got is my all I've got is my spinning reel, so it is what it is. And then, um, yeah, so hopefully I can catch some. But if I can't catch anything on it, which I'd be really surprised, I will just go for some new gear. All right, here. And I'm gonna try. Oh, let me. I 
know this camera down. Uh, just going to try to catch it. A tiny, tiny bass. Just to make it official, let me show you guys. You can't really see it because all this grass. take too long I'll, but it did take longer than I expected or wanted it to um it's a good little bass that's what was biting just tons of little fish he was pretty far up deep too well I say up deep I don't know how deep that part of the pond is let me make another cast over there Let's go, baby. Please, sir. Yes, we're filling, guys. That was so crazy. I so hope I got that on film. I think I'm letting it sit because I was watching and Sora catch his and I just hear whoosh well I see it I just set the hook bang caught him he came off right right on the bank so but that's a good one so I'm talking I'm gonna let him go Number 
number three for me. Three off the stick bait. That's awesome. This is actually a really good size for this pond, so. That is a lot of fun. So, yeah. Gotta get me another one now. A bunch of grass. I'm just ripping it, shredding it for you guys. Pretty good, not in the grass. Let's go! I can't believe he got the hook. He came off right at the bank. I caught him on the, the little stick, baby. Let's go! That's number four on this thing. That's the most fish I've ever, that's the most fish I've ever caught on my baits. Alrighty guys, so in total, I caught four fish on the old stick bait that I made. Um, as you've seen, had a good looking action. Um, I was really happy with how it performed. I didn't miss a lot of fish, I'm guessing because um, the, this pond doesn't have any big ones in it. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun fishing with this. I'll probably definitely use it in the future for fun days like today. Um, I knew this pond would work pretty well, and um, turns out it did. So, really happy with how it turned out. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you later.